name is Brian Sterling. I'm the director of the South Carolina Department of Corrections. And I have Chief Mark Hill with the South Carolina Department uh, of Law Enforcement here with SLED. I want to thank a couple people. It's been a long couple of days for the department. I want to specifically thank Chief Keel and his folks at SLED, Richland County Sheriff's Department, South Carolina Division of Police Services, Dorchester and Berkeley County Sheriff's Department, the Ridgeville Police, and I want to thank the Texas Rangers for their assistance in the capture this morning um, of the escapee. What we know so far from our investigation, which is ongoing, he left the facility on July 4th at 8 p.m. We received information the next day that he was gone. We started our count and verified around two o'clock on the 5th that he was gone. He used a makeshift dummy to fake the staff out that he was still in his bed. Um, and we issued beyond alerts to the media we sent tweets out, we sent Facebook messages out, and we immediately called SLED to come in and start assisting us with the investigation. And I just want to say that everybody worked tirelessly to find this individual for the last 48 to 72 hours. People didn't sleep, people kept on working, chasing lead after lead. And I know when we have an emergency, I can call SLED and I can call Chief Keel he's going to be there and his guys are going to be there and they were I cannot thank them enough I cannot thank local law enforcement that put themselves in harm's way lead agents that put themselves in harm's way took time away from their families our police services folks that did the same not a lot of people were sleeping what I can tell you is if someone does leave the South Carolina Department of Corrections and tries to escape we will hunt them down and look for them until we find them they will not be able to sleep close their eyes and feel comfortable that they've gotten away because we will not stop like we saw this week. This is a massive manhunt and a great effort by law enforcement. Um, I think the chief has a couple things. One thing I do want to say, is, and I've been hammering on this since I've been here, John Austin's been hammering on this. We believe a cell phone was used to facilitate and give this inmate the resources to escape. We also potentially believe that a drone was used to help him get the contraband in to escape. We still have to investigate that fact. We 100% know a cell phone was used or multiple cell phones were used uh, while he was incarcerated. Um, and we believe a drone was used to fly in the tools that allowed him to escape. I know there's been some questions about how he escaped. So he used wire cutters to cut through fences. Um, at 8 o'clock on July 4th and took off from there. I'll let Chief Keel talk about the investigation from there. I'm happy to answer any institutional questions. But Chief Keel has some things he'd like to say and um, we can answer any questions y'all have. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, first off, I want to uh, also thank uh, law enforcement, local law enforcement, many agencies that were involved in this, along with our state uh, partners in other, other states. Uh, I want to especially thank my folks, uh, our folks at Fusion Center uh, that work night and day, uh, folks from our fugitive unit, uh, our investigations, uh, investigators around the state and in the region that, uh, that work tirelessly. This was just good old fashioned law enforcement is what this was. Uh, we took every lead that we had, we worked every lead to the end. Those leads led to additional leads um, and again, we work night and day. I will tell you that about one o'clock this morning, uh, we had worked on a lead and, and developed that lead. Uh, we got some information at that time that led us to Austin, Texas. Uh, we contacted the, uh, the Texas Rangers at about 2.30 this morning. Uh, they identified a, a hotel, uh, a Motel 6 hotel in Austin, Texas. And they hit that hotel room at about uh, four o'clock this morning. Uh, they caught him while he was sleeping. There was no resistance. I will tell you that he was armed with both a semi-automatic pistol and a pump shotgun. He was also had additional ammunition. He had four cell phones and he had $47,654 in cash on him at the time of his arrest. We will work with uh, Texas officials to 
and Department of Correction to bring him back uh, to South Carolina, obviously, as soon as we possibly can. Um, the investigation is still ongoing. I can tell you that there are a number of people that assisted him uh, during the course of this, uh, his escape, and we intend on uh, continuing to investigate, and everyone who assisted him, we intend on bringing to justice as well. So uh, there's not a whole lot more that we're gonna say about, about it at this time, but the bottom line, it was great police work on behalf of a lot of uh, law enforcement officers, uh, both local and state officers that, that led to his arrest.